have been dying to show you my latest make. I told you guys in my August makes video that this was one of my top five makes of all time. And after wearing them again this weekend, that statement is still holding true. I love these overalls so much. So you might remember I have made the Jenny overalls before. They're by Closet Core Patterns, formerly known as Closet Case Patterns. I made my first version earlier this year, actually. I made the pants version for the Style Maker Fabrics Spring Style Tour. Those were made from a geometric print denim, and I worked very hard on the fit of the pants. So when I went to make these, all of the work had been done, and it was just a matter of cutting them out and sewing them up. Well, actually, there are separate pattern pieces for the pants and the shorts, so I had to transfer the alterations I made to the crotch, the rise, and the side seams, but that was really quick and easy. The sewing is very detailed, and there are so many steps, but seeing it all come together is so fun. For this version, I opted for the two-part waistband. This creates a waistband piece for the front and a separate one for the back. It also allows you to put zippers on both sides of the shorts. And my first version is a little bit hard to get over my hips, so I thought I needed the extra wiggle room, <laughs> literally. <laughs> Turns out I can get them on just fine by unzipping one side. I think the difference between the first pair and this one is the length of the zipper on these is a little bit longer than my original pair. But I like having the two zippers as an option, and I think the symmetry of the snap closures, having them on each side, is also nice. Speaking of which, the pattern would have you put in jeans buttons to close up the side seams, but sewing a buttonhole in that small tab with all the thickness of the waistband is risky and could be really frustrating. Instead, I opted for a good old hammer and snaps so I could muscle my way through that problem. The front bib is exactly as drafted, but again, instead of installing this adjusted hardware, I opted for something a little unique that I have seen in a bunch of ready-to-wear overalls. Instead of installing the typical overall hardware, I installed a grommet on the front bib and simply tied the straps through them. It makes taking the overalls on and off slightly more time consuming, but you only have to do one side to get the overalls off. The straps are way too long, I know, and I still need to hem them, but honestly, I've just been wearing them too much to do any alterations. <laughs> okay, the other big change I made to the pattern is the back. Just like with my first pair, I added a back bib. I just feel like the back bib gives it a more authentic overalls look, and that's what I wanted for this version. Maybe one day I'll leave it off, but I think I'm a bit of a traditionalist when it comes to overalls design. The fabric is a very stretchy denim that I got somewhere for really cheap in the New York City Garment District. I don't remember where I got it, and it was also years ago, so there's a very slim chance that it would still be there anyway. But you can find stretch denim pretty readily nowadays, and I've taken the liberty of linking some options for you in the description box. I have paired these overalls with a plain white tee and silver sneakers that I got from Walmart, but I have a lot of grand ideas of how to style them a little bit more unconventionally in the fall. So be sure you're following me on social media to see how those outfits come together. And before I go, I want to tell you to come back to the channel tomorrow for a tutorial on how to add a back bib to your next pair of Jenny overalls. Yay! But that's going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all very soon. Bye!